I just find it really funny because within 10 minutes of laying down, I had the solution. It is now Tuesday, July 2nd, and I have a quick writing update for you guys. I worked a little bit more on my character sheets today. I did about half of the worksheet for like the kind of backup protagonist, the, the kind of secondary protagonist, the character that serves as my main character's like handler and point of contact for the secret government agency and will be a major like character throughout the series. But the other thing that I worked on, I went back to my main character and I realized that I had talked a little bit about her family history that kind of led her to like this point in her life where she where where she would feel obliged to take this offer of employment by the secret government agency but I didn't actually talk any at all about her magic itself and how it manifested and how it relates to the secret government agency so I went back and started kind of thinking more deeply about when did her magic manifest how did her her family react and how did she keep it secret things like that and it made me realize that I actually haven't thought too deeply about certain aspects of her family history and this part of her and the magical part of her history because both things obviously play a major role in her life and kind of shape who she is as a person today and how she ended up here but I'm finding that there's a dissonance there and so it's creating a little bit of a void in my understanding of this character and it's it's definitely something that i need to address immediately uh so i once i reached that point where i had these questions i like froze and i was like oh my gosh i don't know and it doesn't i can't make the pieces fit together in my head at the moment and so i meet like all my progress was immediately halted which didn't feel great so that is actually when i moved on to my secondary protagonist worksheet and i got a little bit of that done but even after i did that i i still i still didn't have the answers i still don't at this moment have the answers to that question it's something that i'm i'm gonna have to really seriously think about because this isn't like a vague history of the secret government agency which may or may not come up this is real this is a this is is important. I need to know how these two separate aspects of her past are related to each other and how they interact because if I don't it's going it's I wouldn't I don't know if I would say it's a plot hole but it's definitely like a plot chasm that would need to be leapt over. I don't know that makes it sound worse. It's I need to know it for sure. I would not feel comfortable starting the drafting process until I know this part because it's more, it's way more likely to come up than the other thing. So that's kind of where I'm at. Not as much progress today as I was hoping, but another day where I did open my notebook and I did make a concentrated effort to sit down and write. It's just that unfortunately I got stymied again by this big question that definitely needs to be answered. Uh, so I think I'm going to sleep on it. I have found that when I am stuck, resetting my brain by sleeping really helps. And I also tend to get my best ideas right before I fall asleep. I know a lot of people have this experience and it's so severe for me to the point where if I need to brainstorm, I will lay down on my bed and pretend like I'm going to sleep because then like it's like Pavlovian almost, like my brain kicks in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sleep on it and hope that the answer come to me in a semi awake half asleep state and that solves all my problems. I'm not going to count on it though. I am going to have to like put some actual brain power into it but that's my plan. Sleep on it, do some pondering and hopefully come back tomorrow with some answers. Uh, if I don't I'm just going to ignore it and continue working on my worksheets for my main characters until I am done and then I will have to come back and answer it because like I said this isn't something I can just leave dangling. That's where I'm at. Again, Again, not exciting as an update, but the fact that I got to this point and realized that I need to answer these questions is progress in its own way. Because if I had started drafting without making this realization and then I got to the point where I hadn't resolved this issue, it would it would definitely it would definitely give me some writer's block, I think, because I, I got writer's block today just realizing that I hadn't thought of it. You know, it, when you're in the middle of a draft, writer's block can be so depressing and so like discouraging. So I'm going to take 
the fact that I have once again found myself with a question as a positive rather than a negative, and I will sleep on it and hopefully come back tomorrow with some answers, and I will see you guys then. Hello everyone, just checking in with a quick writing update. It is now Thursday, and when I last checked in with you guys, I was talking a little bit about how I had gotten stuck while developing some backstory for my main character, and I talked a little bit about how I was going to sleep on it and do some brainstorming in bed because that's where I do most of my best brainstorming. I, and I think a lot of writers can relate to that and like keeping a notebook by the bed and to write down your ideas before you forget them. So that's what I did. And I just find it really funny because within 10 minutes of laying down, I had the solution to my problem. <laughs> It was so simple and so easy and it really did just solve a huge chunk of questions and holes in kind of my plans. I was like, oh, that's easy. And then I was just able to go to sleep after that. And then I got up um, yesterday and just wrote it all down. So now I am moving on to my next main character or my like kind of um, secondary protagonist. And uh, I have... I feel pretty secure in most of his backstory. It's not as important, um, but he does have quite a large family. And so I'm currently debating if I need to like name them all. Cause as I mentioned last time, I, I hate coming up with names. I'm really bad at it. And so like, oh my gosh, just coming up with his family and then associates and everything. I don't know if I want to do all this. So maybe I'll just list them like the relationship to him and move on. But that's kind of where I'm at. Unfortunately, between the holiday and just some other personal things going on, I have not been able to do much more than that. And that's the other thing I wanted to say is uh, those personal things are probably going to take up a lot of my time and energy for the rest of this week and next week. And I know there's always an excuse and always a reason, especially last month when it was vacation and then getting sick and now this to not write, but it is what it is. I'm going to try and, and do my best to work around some of the stuff that's going on. It's just that the last six weeks and going forward even more are just kicking my ass. So again, apologies if my posting and my updates are sporadic. I am doing my damnedest to try and be consistent and stay on top of my shit, but the universe is just throwing like every possible obstacle it can think of at me right now, which is why I really should have just worked through my vacation, my staycation. But I think I'm, I'm going, I'm choosing to believe that because I rested during that vacation, I am able to well Weather this onslaught of misery with a brave face. So that is what I'm choosing to believe. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for continuing to come to my channel. And thank you so much for continuing to support me despite all of the stuff that I have had going on and the inconsistencies and stuff. So I do really appreciate it. And that brings us to the end of this vlog. My next video will be my weekly reading vlog. I've got a couple of great books that I want to talk about. So I hope you look forward to it and I will see you then. Bye.